I would get these massive migraines. After I had been driving it for a length of time, I just started feeling like I'm getting a lot of headaches. Valentina and Susan, two complete strangers with one thing in common. They both drive Ford Explorers. Susan bought her 2015 Explorer brand new, and almost immediately she started smelling something gross. I was starting to smell an odor. Um, there like was some what? exhaust smell. There was like um, almost like a, an egg sulfur type of smell. Almost every time she would get behind the wheel, she would start feeling sleepy. Like going out of the lane, my head is bobbing up and down. And then came this a few months later. I didn't even realize that I fell asleep. My head just went down. I woke up to a tree in my path and it scared me and I jumped. I could have hit the oncoming traffic and it was by the grace of God that my son and I did not die. That was the last straw for Susan. She went to the doctors thinking she was seriously sick. Uh, my doctors, after I got back from Christmas, they were running all sorts of tests, scans of my brain, test after test with the blood. The results of all of those medical tests? All negative. In Laurel, Maryland, Valentina and Mark Shedrick tell News 4 not long after they bought their 2016 Ford Explorer, they oftentimes smelled something nasty. Like sulfur or some type of fumes, gas fumes or something really nasty. Then came the migraines, the nausea. Because I'm overall a healthy young lady, I have no health issues at all. And then, like I said, to get in this vehicle and been driving it and just feeling really dizzy and lightheaded. Because I'm always complaining to my husband about this all the time. Both ladies tell News 4 the fumes in their car would come and go, but their headaches stayed constant. Neither thought their deteriorating health had anything to do with their SUVs. Until news reports surfaced about numerous police officers nationwide, including right here in Montgomery County, saying they're getting sick from fumes they say were seeping into their police vehicles, all Ford Explorers. Both ladies took their SUVs for service immediately. They did say that it was an exhaust fume leak in the vehicle. I took my vehicle in to Ford and had it tested, and sure enough, it was my truck. In Susan's case, she had her car repaired twice for exhaust leaks by a Ford dealership. And to this day, she says she's still suffering from severe migraines. And Valentina and Mark have been waiting for months for a part to fix their exhaust leak. Yeah, they said we can still drive the vehicle as long as we don't turn on the recirculate system and just use fresh air. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has opened an investigation into all 2011 through 2017 Ford Explorers for possible carbon monoxide leaks. In a statement to News 4, Ford tells us engineers have been working with police departments and customers nationwide to address concerns, and Ford is also now inspecting both Susan's and Valentina's vehicles. However, on Ford's website, the company stresses that while it's taking action to address concerns of first responder vehicles, Ford underscores there's no issue with carbon monoxide in regular Explorers. For the public outdoors is nine. Valentina isn't convinced and agreed to allow carbon monoxide toxicologist Albert Dene test her vehicle. Yeah. Here we go. Using a professional CO detector, not one you'd find in your home. Dene set up two detectors, one in the back of the Ford Explorer and one up front. We drove along back roads at low speeds and saw no change in air quality. It wasn't until we got onto the highway and over 40 miles an hour did this happen? Nine in the front, 30 in the back. No. But this is twice the EPA limit and obviously too much. The CO level in Valentina's car leveled out at 15 parts per million. According to the EPA, the acceptable level is nine over an eight hour period. And it takes time for all this CO to leave the, her body. It doesn't go in and out quickly. Back home and parked, Valentina tells us she will no longer drive her Explorer. What did you think when we were driving and the numbers started to go up and up? I was just totally just like out of control here. I'm like, what in the world am I driving? News 4 learned there are now 2,700 complaints to NHTSA from people who say they've been exposed to exhaust fumes or carbon monoxide. 
That number includes what Ford calls regular explorers. They're still saying it's only affecting the police cruisers and it's not. I'm the consumer and here I am. I bought your vehicle. I bought it because I thought it was safe for my son and my family and for me to drive.